three. Well, look, three plus five plus four plus six plus two plus three. The sum of the frequencies is 23. So that's the same as the sum of the frequencies, yeah, which is 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3. Now, each one of these numbers is essentially the frequency times the observation. Frequency times the observation. Frequency times the observation. Frequency times the observation. All the way through. And we're adding them together. So effectively, to calculate the mean, when we have frequencies and observations, <clears throat> it's simply... The frequency times the observation, and we sum them up across all observations, divided by the sum of the frequencies. Okay, so divided by the sum of the frequencies. That's effectively how we calculate the mean. So this is the formula for the mean. And actually, irrespective of whether it's population data or whether it's sample data, the mean will be the well, the mean calc the calculation of the mean is exactly is exactly the same. So if it's a population data that you're dealing with, the mean is straightforward. You calculate it like that. Uh, and if it's sample data that you're dealing with, well, the mean is calculated. It's calculated like that. Okay. So the only difference is it's the same calculation. The only difference is the symbol associated with them. Yet the symbol representing that this is the sample mean. So this represents the sample sample mean, whereas this over here represents the population mean. Population population mean okay so we want to calculate the mean for this particular uh, data well what we need is we need two values we need sigma is the sum of the frequencies times the x's and we also need the sum of the frequencies now every just keep in mind that anytime you have to do a sigma calculation the sigma is always immediately followed by some sort of label and we need to have that label in our table so sigma Label is F, and there's the F. So we sum up the column with that label. So the column called F gets summed up. And this 23 is the sum of them values. So this is sigma. This is sigma F. What about this numerator? It's sigma FX. Well, sigma FX, the label is FX. So we need a column in our table with that label called FX. But to have a column in the table called FX, we need to already have a column called F and a column called X, which we do. So now we can create a new column called FX which is effectively just the product of the multiplication between the frequencies, across the frequencies and the observations. So fx means the f values times the x value. So 3 times 1 gives us 3. 5 times 2 gives us 10. 4 times 3 gives us 12. 6 times 4, 6 times 4 gives us 24. 2 times 5 gives us 10. 3 times 6 gives us 18. Now, to calculate the mean value, we need the sum of the frequencies times the x's. So we need the sum of this column. See, there's the label now, fx. So now we can sum up that column. So let's sum it up. So we have 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. Put down the 7, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So we end up with 77. So this value of 77 is effectively the sum of the fx's. So now we can calculate the mean. Now, context is important. If we were to calculate the population mean, so let's say the population mean, population mu, it would be the sum of the fx's, which is 77, divided by the sum of the f's, which is 23, which would give us a value of, which would give us a value of 77 divided by 23 is approximately 3.35. So it's approximately 3.35. The average the average value that occurred when we rolled the die 23 times is 3.35. And if this was population data, well then that would be the average of the population. If So context is important. Now in this case, this was just a sample roll. This was a number of rolls. We could have continued with rolling the die. Okay. Uh, so actually really what we need is the sample mean. So the sample mean sample x bar okay sample x bar is once again the sum of the frequencies times the x's which is 77 divided by the sum of the f's which is 23 which also gives us the value of 3.35 so if the data context is important if the data is associated with population well then the population mean is 3.35 mu if the data is associated with sample data well then the sample mean okay 
is also 3.35. The point I'm making here is in this context, when we're calculating the mean, there's no difference in the calculation. Now, things do change when it comes to the variance and the standard deviation and other calculations that you might have to do when you're dealing with discrete frequency distributions. Context is important, but we'll deal with that in the next video, video where we calculate the variance and we also calculate the standard deviation. Okay, guys, uh, once again, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, and I hope that this video was in some way intuitive, and more importantly, I hope that was helpful. So thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.